had such a young baby. When you think about that, you, you know, you know that this was not just a moment in history for them. This did alter them. It shaped the trajectory of their lives. We are very much aware of that. And as devastating as our loss is, there's so much devastation around the lives that have been altered because of this. So, you know, I tell the story sometimes of one of Giselle's best friends, my niece Giselle, who was seven years old, who her friend in second grade, I found out from her mom just a few months ago, only recently started feeling comfortable riding in cars. This is not a nine-year-old girl, and it's heartbreaking. And, you know, AJ's best friend, Jacob, um, became a volunteer advocate with MAD and has been working very closely with us these past couple years to get this legislation passed. And Hannah and his best friend is in the audience today. Thank you for coming, Hannah, with her family. To this day, her and her friends do things in their own way to honor me in her memory. And those are the lies, um, or the stories that we don't hear as much. Because it's so easy for us to say, it won't impact me. That could never happen to me. But even if it's not me, either you or your children or somebody it is going to be touched by it at one point in their lives. And what we want to do is make sure that never happens again because we are on our way. And all I want to add to that is I want to thank everyone for the support, but most in particular, we want to reiterate how important it is that as we enter this holiday season of family and togetherness, that we not take for granted what that really means and continue to hold close to those we love and, and practice what we know we all ought to be doing. Um, with that, I'm going to pass it back over to you, Congresswoman. Thank you so much. Or Congresswoman, please.